Okay, uh, I have an exciting project for you to complete today, so let us start right away. As you look here in this um, uh, illustration, um, we have a nice set, a nice still life with uh, three sunflowers. The great uh, painter, artist who completed this painting is Mr. Van Gogh. And he was very famous of uh, exaggerating slightly the colors, like you see, um, not being super precise, using, uh, that, that means that he didn't work with the really just small brush. What he want, what was his intention? Well, he wanted to bring his emotions to, to his paintings. So for example, I have another example here um, of um, his painting. You can see that those sunflowers are very bright, even exaggerated. Their uh, shapes are simplified, so that means that they are not chiseled. Each petal is not perf uh, painted to perfection, exactly with the transition of, of lights and shadows. No, that was not of importance to him. Instead, he wanted to influence us or have an impact on us by the use of his colors. Like you see here, we have, for example, a pair of complementary colors. We have orange color, orange yellow color versus the, or against, uh, setting up against the blue color. So what is happening in such combination? Well, each of those colors help each other to be, to be brighter to be happier, I would say, right? So you can see this painting right away. Notice the use of outlines. He always done it. And that's actually flattens the image. You see here, when you look at the stems, it's very much the same. When you look at the center of the flowers and so on, always, always the outline, right? But it works for his images. So when you look at our painting, that we will in the second complete, you can see the same. We have some outlines here. We see the colors are not bad, but are not exactly 100% precise. You see, look at this, the, the vase, how he painted, how the, the uh, stand is painted. And again, the outline here and simplified shape of leaves. And that's okay. I find this painting really, really beautiful. So, for our for our new assignment, we want to use a piece of. First of all, we have to have this reference, and I will I will connect it for. I will, I will provide you with a copy of this painting. Now we can decide what will be the base for our for our uh, drawing here. So, you can draw your um, your image on this paper, which is construction paper, and you always look for the color. You can sure you can use also the white paper, um, or you can, for example, choose this kind of blue color, right? And I would suggest, let's see, let us start working on uh, the colored paper. And I would use this one. Or maybe, let's see, yeah, this one will be okay. So I'm placing my image on the side, and I will work on this colored paper. Now, in case when you don't have the colored paper, make sure that you use white paper, and that should be okay too, right? I just like to use this color because it helps me right away um, to, to see how the colors will react to each other. So here, I have to start with sketch. And again, don't be super precise. When I look here at this image, I can see that the stand takes one, two, three, four, one fourth approximately of the entire length or height of the of my paper. So that's what I will be doing here, okay? The, the line doesn't need to be precise, but it should be just approximately horizontal. I have to now find the position of my vase, right? So when you look here um, and, and measure the image, I always use my fingers. It's one, two, and a little bit. So that means when I divide my paper into two parts, so it has to be just a little bit lower here. And again, very, very loose, 
plus, you see here, just approximate. It doesn't need to be exact, guys, okay? Look at his Alepsa here on the bottom. It's not really precise, right? This is not of importance here. So you see my drawing will be here of the vase. And now I need those beautiful flowers. So what I have to do with them, I have to think about the positioning of the hats, right? So one will be, you can't unfortunately see it here. So one will be here. Another one will go on the side here, just a little bit higher than this one here. You will see it on the reproduction. And another smaller one will come here. Again, when you change a little bit the shapes, that's okay too, right? So here I have the hats. Now, I will have my patterns here. And you see, I'm already extending them a little bit longer than they are on the image here, on the original one. Again, I'm not, I'm not upset about it. I'm okay. Okay, so this is my one flower, sunflower. Another one will be here. So I have to create those patterns approximately. Notice how, I, how I'm making them. Very loose blues. Okay. Here. A little bit. Ha, la, la, la. Here. And this one here has another center here. You see, another one here. And then a couple of them will come here. The surface is already perfectly yellow here. Okay. So look at this. It's perfect yellow. So all what I have to do, a little bit of it here. Now I have to think about the leaves, right? Here, here, and another over there. So maybe one will be here, like coming like this, and another one here. Then I need to have another leaf here coming. Remember, you are the boss here. If you need to change something, that's okay. You don't need to be precise, okay? We just want to bring the spirit of his paintings. So this is the most important, okay? The energy that his um, paintings contain. Good, guys. So what I've done here, I wanted that you will see it before I proceed with uh, pastels. So this is the painting, the reproduction, and here we will have our face. So the drawing is completed and now we'll be moving to my pastels. I hope that you have pastels at home, um, either chalk pastels or oil pastels. Remember when you want to use both, and I will try to do it, I have the option of using first the chalk pastels and then I can come on the top in some places to make the color even more vibrant with the oil pastels. Now, you can do the opposite. So remember, if you plan to use both, start with the chalk pastels and then come on the top with oil pastels, not the opposite way. Okay, so my pastels are here and I will start in the second, um, thinking about the flowers first, because I already have a blue color here for the background. In, your, in the case when you don't have the colored paper, start with the, with the, part, with the background. Mm, another good tip for you is that um, you have to switch from one color to another fast, creating the contrast. So when I will be working on the patterns, I later move right away to the blue. Then I move again to the orange yellow. Then I move again maybe to the blue and then to the brown and to the green. So you don't try to finish everything right away. Just a little bit. Give a little bit of hint of the colors here and there to see how the colors will work together. Now, when you want to work again on the white surface, that's okay too. I will make another example for you later on. Now, let's start with the chalk pastels. And I have my yellow color here. I have to also make sure that from time to time, I will clean them up. Remember, they get dirty right away, okay? So, you also have to make sure that your hands are clean. Okay, good. So, I have this beautiful flower here. Notice my strokes. So very loosely going around, 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 around. I can smudge them a little bit using my finger, right? Because they are the chalk pastels. No problem. They can blend nicely. So I need to have my patterns here. Again, I'm quite loose with the way how I apply. Okay? You can sing. You can talk to other people while working on Van Gogh paintings. And why is it? Well, because you don't want to be super precise. When you are super precise, then it can happen that your paintings will look a little bit stiff, right? Will not have the life, the energy that all the artworks, all the beautiful paintings done by Van Gogh 
half. You see, I think, and when you look here, the reproduction, we have brown color here. But even though, you see, it's the brown there, I still will apply a little bit of yellow. I don't think that will harm my painting. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, drawing. I always think about using um, oils or acrylic paint. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. Notice, loose blues, I call it. Okay, the strokes are coming here beautifully. You see, here I have already my flowers. Whoa, a little bit now on the leaf. I want to have a little bit of this color here, maybe even here, a couple, right? Strokes. See, I didn't develop them to perfection. I'm not ready for it yet, right? So what I now can do, I can go to the blue color for the background. And I don't have many options. You see what I have, I have this blue color, which seems to be a little bit too dark here. I have this blue color, okay? I have to really clean it up. And I think I will need to use some of the white, okay? Again, make sure that you clean it up nicely, okay? So what I will be doing here, I do need to apply a little bit of it here. See, I'm applying it like this. I'm doing it quite fast. Okay, my flowers here. I will later change slightly the color. See a little bit of it here. See, and the color of the paper will pick up through in some places, especially in the hard ones when it's so difficult to come. So when you have the white surface of the paper, the problem is that in those spots where it's hard to uh, come with the pastel or with the pencil crayons, in case when you don't have the chalk pastels, right? Or oil pastels, you see? Then, then this white will pick up and it doesn't look so good. You see here, I'm applying a little bit of the white because I want that this color will not look exactly like you see what's happening here. That's not one even color. We don't want to have it, right? So make sure that you clean up your fingers because we don't want to have yellow everywhere. Because when we mix yellow with blue, which color do we get? Do you remember? Yes, we get green color. And that's not our intention here, right? Okay, so guys, notice what's happening. It's more colorful now. Now, I think we want to go for for the brown centers here, right? Of the flowers. So what I will be doing here... Just a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. You see here, I am a tiny bit here, because I think we have it. Couple of strokes, not too many. I what I notice what I work, uh, how I work with my fingers now. Just gently, my fingers just dabbing on the surface, right? Not too much. Now I'm going here with the center again, and you know what? I think I want to apply a little bit of the red. Here, right just slightly to judge you can always slightly deviate slightly uh, different from that what you see in the image and i certainly notice what's happening with the strokes you see short strokes going around 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 so i will do the same here you see going like this like this like this like this like this 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 around and then I will apply some other cuts. I just help a little bit, you see, smudging it here. But I but I don't want to cover completely the paint because I'll smudge it com perfectly to one tone because then I will lose this energy that right now those lines of different tones create, okay? So I still think we can go a little bit darker here and I certainly okay getting there okay look at this now you see not bad right uh, we're going now to the stand so on the stand I can see there's an outline here um, very very strong one it's done more with the black but I'm okay on this stage I can even make it a little bit brown okay so you see here I'm going here with the strokes right a little bit more elongated they're not super long horizontal of course and make sure that you really get this shape uh, that strange ellipse on the bottom of our base okay i have those colors here they have to those lines have to be a little bit wider i have them to skin as such okay so you see here we're coming 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 okay here 
and now the next step guys so the next step will be to bring some yellow in it believe me or not here is some yellow i have this bright yellow but i also have another yellow here in my box and i like it this color here so that's what i will be doing now okay so i apply here this color oh i think i also need some brighter yellow here so separate strokes because this time you don't want to see the uh, blue color of the of the stand right so you see here a little bit more of it here I remember more or less um, horizontal lines okay now from that when you have them a little bit more brown here okay here good okay then I want to come to the leaves okay notice here this very dark color that's like a cast shadow from the, the flower but I also need to have those leaves so I have this very dark uh, greenish bluish color here over there here on the stamp and down so i will go for it and i will create it by using hmm, you see i don't have the oh i do i have this color here good i was afraid that i will not find it okay so i'm applying it here i'm going to this leaf here and remember there's a little bit more of the blue there so i think i have to go back to this leaf and make it more bluish like a bluish greenish color right so you see here Oh, that's actually working well um, the same will be for the stamp here and I think I have to come here so I apply a little bit of the blue just a little bit and then I have to go right away with my green on the top okay rather rather in, uh, or instead of using uh, black and green I prefer to mix it with a little bit of the blue here right I think it will look better okay Black can make uh, the color looking a little bit dull, and I want to avoid it, right? So you see here we have a lot, okay? Now, the next step will be, I think we want to put some orange here too as well. You see, in some of those um, nice flowers, so certainly here, you see? And you can decide for the strokes, for the direction, you see? But I think with this, certainly, and again, make sure that you clean up your fingers, right? Then you can do that. You see a little bit more. I need to have it a little bit more here. And I certainly need to have this color here as well, okay? So now <clears throat> I can also see inside of this, of the head of the flower here, a little bit of green. So I certainly will apply it there, you see? Like this. And now I can go with the green. Um, there where I have the leaves, right? So the colors are not exactly the same as there, but we have the, our limitations. Our box with pastels doesn't have all the colors that the artists use, and that's okay too. Remember, artists always find the solution. We can work with some other colors as well, okay? So here we are, you see? When you work, notice what I have. I have, uh, where, while you are working on with chalk pastels, you always get those uh, dots right so make sure that from time to time you will clean them okay so here we go i see the side of the leaf here so what i will do i make it a little bit darker here okay so this is the side of the leaf that curls and here i have this lovely color here so you see and then i need to bring some of the color here as well on the base Okay, so here we go. You see, it's better, better, better. We have white color here too. Whoa. So you have to make sure that you bring it there. So we have our white color on the vase. We have some, like a couple of highlights here one and two right so we want to bring them here as well but make sure that from time to time you will clean up your pasta that's the white one that's for sure because you get all those different colors here okay so now the next step what we want to do we want to slightly lighten our base okay the color here and then we'll bring some yellow color there as well Okay, you see here, and I will bring some yellow here, okay, to brighten it. Okay, then I notice that on this particular leaf, I need to have some brown here. Okay, still a little bit stronger here. 
So you're bringing it here, bringing some outlines here, making sure that this leaf, like you see, it's more emphasized. So I'm looking at those lines. I can blend it now. I can blend with my finger everything. And now I will be looking again back to my petals, right? It's time to work on them. Oh, uh, there's another leaf here, which I didn't mark yet. So I will have it here. See? Another one here. Okay, I have plenty of leaves now. And now what I have to do, let's see, is it a brown there too? Yeah, I think so. A little bit, okay? So what I want to do now, I want to work on those patterns. But I think I want to move to my oil pastels. There's still a little bit of the chalk pastels here I can work. You see? And then I will move to my oil pastels. Here, another one. See, now I can really look more for the shapes of those patterns, right? Not still, I don't want to have them precise, but I want to bring more colors and certain direction, right? So it's here. Another one will come here. Another one there. I will put a couple here. You see? This, and with this one here, oh yeah. Maybe I will just speed up my pastel here to get stronger dots and uh, in terms of color Whew, you see much brighter and then I de oh my goodness I don't want to touch my my um, image here my face so I'm using paper towel to support my other hand and making sure that my paper doesn't move Whew, oh, oh. From time to time, I have to take off the dust here. You see, and it's really bright, really bright. I like it, it has to be bright. Now, I will use a little bit of black, believe me or not. I can come here, right? And make a little bit more of the emphasis, what is going on. Do I have to have it? Maybe a couple lines of black here. I can have a little bit of black here and I definitely need to have it inside, right? So you see, a couple more, maybe even here a little bit, because I'm the boss. I can decide, even when I don't see it in the image, when I decide that it has my drawing, I certainly can use the particular color, right? So you see, I'm coming here. That's already stronger, and I think I need to have an outline. Here, you see, for my face. Noticed. Not perfectly precise, but that's what I want to have. I want to work like Van Gogh, right? Notice his. It's also not precise. Good. And then I can come here and make this line stronger. You see? Make this line that divides the background or the stance, the blue color, from the table. Right? So it's a little bit more precise. If I want to still come here and make the lines a little bit stronger here, I certainly can. You see? So I'm coming here and for the last touch if you have if you have guys the oil pastels I really like to use them again I have to clean them up paper towel now I have to be very careful how I use how I use my pa uh, pastels now see and I'm going stronger here I'll use another color that I like very much called Venetian or oxide red you see here and you will put more of those short lines here, okay? We also need to bring this color here, you see? And really with full force, I press my, uh, my pastel. I think I can also use this color here. See, just a little bit to bring more colors. You see, I can bring it here and I certainly can do it on the bottom part here, right? You see, just a little bit. And this, the last flower, I can emphasize a tiny bit more here. See, the center, tiny bit more, you see? And then, and then with the light pastel, I can come here and just, it's again, it's an oil pastel. I just emphasize some of those lines, you see? So how do you like the image or oh, maybe a little bit of orange i think orange would be good here too oh that's gray color not orange orange you see mistake 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 this one here see but i have to clean it up so just a little bit more here on the bottom part right and where can we put it here oh i love to use colors i'm a colorist okay so you see a little bit of it here 
maybe a little bit more. We can even emphasize some of those patterns here, right? You see here, why not? Actually, that works very well for the for the sunflowers here. And maybe even here, you see, a couple of them just on the bottom part. Don't go up with it, right? Just here. Okay, like this, like this, like this, you see? So how is our painting, guys? Do you like it? You see, when the line is a little bit too strong, I, I can see I can come on the top and just put more here. So that is our painting, or maybe even still, you see, I never can finish. When I, I love painting, so for me to have the opportunity to, to work with uh, pastels that I don't use very often is so much fun. See, it's always fun. I love creating paintings and that's why I'm so happy to be with you all in the classroom and see what you are doing and also before you start your project I always have to make the same project myself right to see what you will be facing okay guys so this is our painting here you can see they're slightly different than this one here but not very much you see so that is our painting. I hope that you enjoyed the process and I expect to see in the classroom beautiful, beautiful artworks. Have a good day. Bye.